I'm here today with Andy Busser, who is the president and CEO of Picarin. Uh, as, I, as I recall correctly, Andy, you took over this role uh, as CEO in November of 2023, October, November 2023. Right. Right. Okay. You've been with the firm for since 2015. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. And and Picarin is a a shared single family office, correct? Right. Okay. So why don't we do this? Why don't we start off with you sharing with us a little bit about the business and and maybe making sure you touch on what is a shared single family office? Yeah, let's start with that. So yeah. we are a family office um, and we just celebrated our 100th anniversary. And, and um, what this means is we serve all of the financial needs of wealthy families. And so it's investments, it's taxes, it's trust in estates, it's insurance, it's accounting, bill payments, budgeting, everything that's a hassle uh, for a family, we do it. Um, we we only serve wealthy families. We don't we don't um, serve mass affluent. We don't serve institutions. Um, and the idea is to provide a very full service experience and take all the hassles out of wealth. Um, and uh, and then being a shared single family office. So for our first 65 years, we were just the single family office for the Pitt Karen family, which is where our name comes from. Um, and then for the last 35 years, we have selectively uh, brought in a few other families each year, typically three to five families a year. So as we sit here today in 2024, we have about 115 families who we serve across the country, um, all, all over the country, uh, a couple in Latin America, a couple in Canada, and, um, and, and share the services with all of those families so that they either don't have to build their own single family office because we provide all that service for them, or uh, they might have a single family office, but they don't have to build out everything because uh, we can fill in the gaps for them. Awesome. Okay. So, so tell, explain to me then, it sounds like a lot of what you do is similar to a, an outfit or a, a company, not an outfit, a company like Fidelity. All right. Like what, what's the difference between some of the stuff you do? And I know you serve wealthy families, but uh, Fidelity offers all those services as well, don't they? No. no? So, uh, so Fidelity is a, um, their, their uh, main business is custody. So, so literally just holding securities. And in fact, we at Pitcairn use Fidelity as our custodian. Um, and so we have billions of dollars of assets uh, that are custodied with Fidelity. They also have investment products. And then they also um, run uh, 401k plans for small businesses and large businesses, actually. Um, and that's the extent of my knowledge of Fidelity. But they don't they don't do taxes and trust and estate work and accounting and bill pay and insurance and all the other things that we do as a family office. So is that, so that's what you would, you would consider your real strength as an organization is in those areas. Uh, our strength is tying all of the complex pieces of wealth together and making sure that things don't slip through the cracks. And that's the biggest reason people come to us is when you have wealth and particularly significant wealth, you often have lots of different trusts and limited partnerships and private investments and, and liquid investments. And you, it's very hard to just keep track of that, let alone think, well, am I invested properly? Have I allocated my assets properly? Uh, have, I, have I rebalanced my portfolios? Am I being tax efficient? And, and are my investment people talking to my tax people? And is either of them talking to my trust and estates people? And so, so all of those gaps are where wealth gets hurt and it's where people get stress. And so we uh, we don't have gaps because we provide all those services ourselves. Uh, and, uh, and, and I mean, the number one thing is people sleep better at night knowing that we are proactively tying all of those pieces together. Mm, yeah. So what would you say in, in, in what you encounter on a regular basis is the biggest challenge today in today's environment for, for you as a company? Um, so we sit in a funny place because for a family office, we're very large. We have about $8 billion of advised assets, uh, and 75 employees. So that's a, that's a very large family office, 
But in the overall scheme of wealth advisors, uh, you know, there are lots of firms now that have $100 billion. And so at $8 billion, we can seem small. And I think what, what we want to make sure we do is continue to grow very responsibly, but, uh, but continue to grow every year and do it in a way where we continue to differentiate ourselves from other firms. So um, there are lots of firms out there that are, that are using private equity money to roll up and get really big. We don't want to do that because we don't think it's in the client's best interest because private equity funds have to have liquidity every five years or so. And, and so then uh, clients don't know, well, who's actually in charge of my assets and what are their intentions? For us being privately held, uh, that's a giant advantage for us because, because clients know we're, we have no interest in selling yeah. the firm. Um, but I think competing against these firms that have hundreds of millions of dollars of resources behind them is the challenge that uh, we face every day and fortunately, we are backed by two very wealthy families. And so we can invest in our business, but um, doing that in a responsible way and continuing to differentiate ourselves, uh, I think is the biggest challenge we have. Yeah, I, I, would, I would imagine just thinking about <clears throat> families in themselves. Uh, you know, we all, each and every one of us has our own family and we all know what challenging <laughs> <laughs> challenge yeah. that, can, that can pose on any of us. And uh, I'm sure this is where your expertise comes in and be able to help families really navigate uh, challenges that they face in just uh, different perspectives that each of them may have. I would just yeah, for sure. Yep. And, and so a lot of what we do is manage wealth for a whole family, but really uh, treat the individual households in a family so that everybody feels like they've got some control over their own financial lives and that they're not subject to their parents all the time or, or their siblings or cousins or whatever. And so a lot of what we do is help people get that individual control uh, over their households and over their uh, financial lives. And, and then um, so, so we do that through individual portfolio construction and individual support on taxes and trusts and all those things, of course. Um, we also do it through individual budgeting, household level budgeting and so on. But the third thing we do a lot of is education and, uh, and family dynamics support so that family members can feel like they are informed enough to make good decisions and have an influence in their family structure for how their assets are invested, how they make their planning decisions, how they make trust decisions. Um, and, and that education foundation is really important for a lot of people um, because they don't feel empowered and they don't feel like they have control. And so we want to help them get that control and, and get that power in their lives. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've, I've been uh, I've had the privilege of being able to work closely with you and Pitcairn, uh for some time now. And and from my perspective, I look at Pitcairn as uh, really the strength of it is that the, the trust level that people have. I mean, you're, you're an industry leader in, in, your, in your space um, as, as far as that, that trust. When people talk about Picaren, there's a feeling of real trust, uh, which I think is huge in, in, in what you do. I, I just think that's probably number one. Yeah, and it's, it's a great advantage for us. Uh, having been around for 100 years, which is pretty unusual for a family office. Most family offices last about three quarters of a generation. So we're, we're now uh, through a hundred years. Uh, we've had multiple generational transitions in the founding family, at the Pitcairn family, but also in our professional leadership of the business. Uh, I'm, I'm the seventh or eighth CEO of the firm in its hundred year history. Um, and I'm a non-family member, you know, just a, just a uh, professional hired hand of sorts. And um, and I think that the trust that the Pitcairn family built over decades and the trust that we've been lucky to build with our clients is um, a real advantage for us, of course. But it, but it also gives our clients real peace of mind mm. that they don't have to worry about whether we're trying to sell them something or whether we have some interest other than theirs. Uh, we don't. We don't have any investment products. That's an important thing for us. So we don't have anything to sell to our clients. Uh, we are here to be our client's advocate. 
um, to give them the best research we can, the best advice we can, and seamless implementation so that they don't have to worry. And uh, that does uh, build trust, hopefully, over time. And, and um, uh, you know, I sitting here today as, as the CEO uh, in the 101st year of the firm, uh, the trust that, that the business and the family have built up over a century is an enormous advantage. And I'm really grateful for that. Yeah, well, I can I can attest to the fact that they've chosen uh, the, the you know the next true really good leader for this company because <laughs> I'm watching it take place. It's been fantastic. So speaking of that, um, uh, I've had the privilege, as I said earlier, to to, to be working with you for almost 18 months now uh, in your role as uh, you know as you transitioned into the role and now as as the CEO. Um, uh, and you're part of the one of the Vistage peer groups that I run. Uh, I'm just curious if you could share with us, you know, what that experience has been like for you. Well, it's been great. And uh, I think there are, I mean, there are a lot of levels, but I think the two that have been most valuable to me are uh, the group discussions where we've got people from a lot of different industries, but a lot of smart people around the table, CEOs facing a lot of the same issues that I face, even if they're not, even if they don't manifest exactly the same way, uh, HR issues are HR issues and talent development issues are, are uh, issues, growth issues, whatever it is. And getting smart questions from a lot of different perspectives has been really valuable to me. And then the other, the other major value is you and I get together every month and just have a one-on-one -on -one discussion. And, and you always ask me a lot of provocative questions that really get me to stop and think. And that's super valuable because when you're a CEO, there are lots of people around you who want to agree with you and don't want to challenge you. Uh, and and um, I always encourage people to challenge me. But even then, people sometimes say, well, I don't know if I really want to challenge Andy, but but you really take it as your job to challenge me. And that, that is a super valuable resource for any leader. And I think especially as CEO, where where every buck in the firm stops on your desk. Mm, yeah. Well, it's interesting you, you, you mentioned that because that, you know, I've learned that Vistage is, is it's a phenomenal um, opportunity for, for many people in a leadership position, but it's not for everybody. And what I learned is it's not for the people that do not want to be held accountable, do not want to be. Right. You know what I mean, they, uh, you know, some people have worked all their life to get to a position that they don't have to answer to anybody and they don't feel like they want to do that in a group like this. But uh, truly, uh, uh, I want to thank you for, you know, you being a part of our group. Uh, you've been a tremendous asset and, and, and helpful for many people in the group as well. So I want to thank you for that. Uh, I, I do want to note that Pitcairn has been uh, an advocate for, for Vistage for many years. You know, the previous two CEOs were both in Vistage groups as well uh, for, for a number of years. So yeah, uh, cl clearly Pitcairn's been, been, been good for Vistage as well. So yeah, well, Vistage has been great for Pitcairn. <laughs> so, well, Andy, I want to thank you for taking some time with me today here just to chat and learn a little bit more about your business. And uh, uh, I wish you all the best as you move forward in this in, in your in your role as CEO there. Thanks a lot. Great working with you, Joe. All right. I'll see you.